In today's video, we're going to go over some new Blender geometry node add-ons and modifier setups for making all sorts of things, from cloth, buildings, UVs, and other things. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're going to start with Tearcar's Generator, which is a geometry nodes tool for creating realistic frayed and torn cloth effects on your 3D models. This add-on actually makes it effortless to add low poly tears. This one can be perfect for game assets or post-apocalyptic scenes, or any 3D scene really. And the great thing, it comes with lots of customization. You can apply easy deformations to the mesh, and even draw tear shapes using grease pencil to have a lot of control. And it comes with a built-in texture atlas, in addition to substance painter materials to provide varied and detailed tear patterns. And it offers simple UV adjustments on torn edges, which always look convincing. You can also use vertex group masking to precisely define where rips and holes appear, whether you are making ragged cloth or damaged fabric props. I think the cars generator can give you an easy and artistic way to generate such effects with your cloth. The next one is called Brickitect, which is a Lego-inspired building generator that lets you create complex brick-style structures with no manual modeling required. As you can expect, it is powered entirely by geometry nodes, and this add-on enables you to generate anything, from a single building to an entire city block, in a short period of time, which is a huge time saver. It comes with modular building presets, including options for corner buildings and other stuff, so you can quickly lay out the city street. And Brickitech provides numerous customization options. For example, you can change the building shapes and heights, adjust the facade details, play with lighting setups, and add extra decorative elements to give each building a unique character. All of these changes are procedural, meaning you can tweak parameters and see the city update in real time. And if you ever wanted to create urban environments or LEGO-style architecture in Blender, this add-on offers a fun and efficient solution to do so. Now we're gonna talk about Diffuse Bundle number one, which is a mega pack of seven procedural add-ons by Diffuse Studio. This bundle brings together their full suite of tools to create different environments, including procedural crowds, which can be used to quickly populate your scenes with 3D animated people, which is great for breathing life into cityscapes or stadiums. The crowd tool is actually a bestseller, used by over 12,000 artists. There is also procedural signs, which helps you to instantly generate illuminated signs in addition to billboards. It is super versatile. You can create neon shop signs or massive LED billboards in just seconds. In addition to this, there is procedural stadiums, which is great if you need a large sports arena and you can do a lot of things with a few short clicks. In a similar vein, there is procedural alleys, which helps to create detailed backstreet alleys for different projects and different places from around the world. In addition to this, they have people packs for business, summer, and other projects. Last but not least, the bundle includes Breakdown Maker, which can automatically produce professional looking scenes or scene breakdowns and turntable animations to show your work. And by purchasing this bundle, you are saving 32% compared to buying each one separately. And with these tools at your disposal, I think you can create a lot of complex things because these ready assets and procedural tools can help you do a lot of things. Now we're going to talk about UV Factory, which is a new UV mapping add-on that automates and streamlines the UV mapping process. If you find UV unwrapping tedious, I think this tool can help you a lot. So it lets you generate UV maps on the fly. In many cases, you can model freely while UVs are being created in real time, appearing before your eyes as you edit. It offers multiple projection methods to create high-quality UVs that are oriented and stable so they won't jump or distort unpredictably as you tweak your model. You can use it in fully automatic mode or manual mode, where you can apply the UV generation only when needed. Before the creation process, UV Factory provides tools to modify UVs directly in the 3D viewport or via node modifiers. For example, you can offset, rotate, or scale the UVs and randomize them for variety. In addition, you can pack islands in just one click or align rotations, or even copy one UV map to another. For advanced users, 
The ANOV lets you chain together node-based UV operations to build a custom UV pipeline. You can manage multiple UV maps at once, apply different UV settings to different materials or selections, and finally control seams and sharp edges. I think it is great and a lot of people love it. The next one is called NitGen, which is a unique GeoNode add-on for creating realistic knitted fabrics in Blender. It allows you to generate woven cloth with custom knit patterns, and you can do that easily. You can design great looking fabrics for your projects in a short period of time. But what sets it apart is that it uses Blender's hair curve system, and it does this under the hood to construct the fabric geometry, which means it is very performance friendly and uses minimal memory even for dense patterns. And the good thing, the add-on fully supports animated objects. Your knitted cloth can follow character motion or physics simulations, and the strands will stick together without breaking, giving a believable cloth behavior. For additional realism, NitGen can automatically add a layer of fuzz on the surface of the cloth, replicating the look of fine fabrics, especially when rendering. It even lets you simulate fabric tearing. By painting a white map, you can define areas where the cloth will rip apart, allowing for effects like holes or runs in the material. Generally, this tool is straightforward and it can help you do different things. Last but not least, we have Node Dimensions, which brings CAD-style measurement tools to Blender's modeling workflow. So, if you need to make precise measurements or technical annotations in your Blender scenes, this tool has you covered using geometry nodes. It lets you add three types of measurement indicators, which are distance, radius, and angle. It is very easy to use. For example, to measure a distance, you just select two vertices in the edit mode, and click the add-ons button, and it will create a measurement object in the scene that displays the distance between these two points. For a radius or a diameter, select three vertices, and the tool will generate a radius dimension object. To ensure an angle, you activate the tool, then click three points, and it will show the angle between these alignments. And all the created measurement objects are live and procedural. They stick to the chosen mesh vertices and will update in real time if the geometry moves or changes, even during animations. The add-on also auto-keys measurements if your object is animated, so the values can change over time with keyframes, in addition to a lot of stuff that you can check for yourself. And there you have it guys. If you found the geometry node add-ons and procedural generator useful, you will find all the necessary links in the description. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.